guys, so we are about to build these mini speakers. I feel like I already have ogre fingers. Very disconcerting that I had such big fingers compared to the small screws, so. We shall see how all this goes. The instructions. Oh, oh yeah, we do have some in, yay, they're in English. Okay, good. I was worried it was just in Chinese. <laughs> which would have been a bit of a challenge. I am actually really excited. Now going to start the process of soldering. Wires, and basically what you're gonna wanna do is, um, yeah, I'm already feeling that there's some heat. So I'm taking the soldering iron and I am gently heating up this. And again, it's gonna smoke a bit, that's okay. And see, I'm just tinning Tinning is the process of gently coating exposed wire with solder. And this is really helpful to clean your solder head between uses so you can really get it gently put on. It's really good to also strip all of your wires beforehand so that it's a simple process. And you see here, we have gently tinned wire. Make sure you don't add too much solder. So people might do this differently. They might be commenting, Diana, what are you doing? I'm trying, guys. The best method is to heat up the element and feed the solder. Say it with me, heat up the element and feed the solder. As you can see, my little component is wobbling about. So also tip, tape down your components with like non-sticky masking tape. Turn on the light as well as use your magnifying glass to see everything you are doing. Once you have finished soldering all of the components to your circuit board, a very important process is the process of cleaning your circuit board. There is residue, and this comes from the solder, the rosin, the flux, and it will kind of bleed in and can potentially cause a short circuit. So you're gonna wanna go in with isopropyl alcohol and a paper towel. It's good to have ventilation, and you just wanna remove as much as you can until there is no potential bleed through of residue. I am next going to clean them. Then I think I have to assemble them. Uh, I didn't read the instructions. Good job. Right on. Okay, so once again, I obviously don't follow instruction. <laughs> I just unsoldered the speakers because it just makes it so much faster if I do that. So there's a reason why there are instructions and there's a reason why people follow them. And it's honestly, like, do you see how small this is? It's very difficult to do with your hands, to be honest. It's like, I don't have children hands. I don't, and these are not magnetic. All right, so next step is just to solder these joints together, put it in and try it. A lot more objectivity and be able to make necessary shifts to create the most effective and efficient business model and production schedule. Well, I'm not quite sure why the lights aren't going off, but it works. Yay! Yay, I hope you enjoyed it. And next video is gonna be lots of fun, so see you then, bye.